All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video, and um, I'm getting real high tech now. I got a a monitor down here underneath the camera. I got like a nice monitor TV, so I can see myself. And I couldn't see the little one over there. My eyes are getting bad. But anyway, yeah, it's on a Sunday afternoon here in good old downtown Trenton, New Jersey, and I'm firing up the boiler today because I want to test some new improvements on the safety valve that I've made. Uh, all those guys, all you guys out there are waiting for these things. Uh, you know, takes a lot of testing. I, I've never sent a product out in all my career as a supplier that didn't work. So I want to make sure everything works as it should. I've got uh, 36 or 37 safety valves made here. And in fact, here's a bunch here. So, so you know, I do have them. This is 25 of the 30. This is 25 of the 36. Uh, already tested and ready to go and uh, I make a I have a uh, a book here of each number so I know which which one and what's where and what's going on with each particular one so I'm recording it so I can figure out which one okay that one works really great this one works so so whatever and mic them up find out what's going on now I purchased a uh, CNC mill finally. All you CNCers out there, I got one. It's over here. But I'm having some issues with it, and um, it ran perfectly where I, from where I got it. We tested it, ran it for a weekend. Runs beautiful. Never had no problem. And I get it here in Trenton, and it just won't run on my three-phase converter. I've tried several three-phase converters. All you guys out there, oh yeah, do this, do that, turn this, bomb, do it up, forget it. Just forget it. it. Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work on three on the three phase converter. Simple as that. It's an Emco Meyer. They're very sensitive to voltage changes, and I just don't have the, the 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 steady power here at this place. So I'm not sure about what I'm gonna do with it. But uh, right now we're waiting for a head of steam to build up. And um, oh, look at that. Now there's something there. I gotta find the uh, hold up. Hold up. I forgot to tighten that yesterday. I remember now. I'll be right back. I'm going in. What uh, happened was that um, I was testing them off this manifold here, which is cool manifold. Nice to, ha nice to have, but the uh, problem is uh, you get a differential in pressure, especially when you got both safeties going off the same manifold. So that's not good. That thing is nice and tight now. Anyhow, so I moved it over here off a T, off the side of the boiler. I moved it over here, and um, uh, it's out here on a pipe just so I'm out in front by the uh, gauge so I can read it, and I'll sit out there and do my thing. Um, boiler is beautiful, man, I'm telling you. This is, always wanted to have one of these. These are great. They're really great. And I expect to be testing a lot of different things. So, while I'm on that subject, some of the things that we're going to be building in the future, got a lot of I've gotten a lot of um, requests for um, um, generators, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, someday I want to build a cross compound compressor, which I would like to build, and um, a couple of other steam steam related things. Uh, I, uh, water pumps. Uh, want to do the uh, Alesco? I mean, somebody out there in the Chasky wants to do a Alesco. Well, Dave will do it. If you want to do it, go ahead. I don't, don't matter. I'm just going to do it anyway. It's things that I wanted to do. My bucket list as I'm going to be 65 in a month. Well, so uh, we're waiting right now for a head of steam. We're going to build up, and uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see when I get that the thing popping off here. And uh, I got a safety set over here at 140, 140, 145. And these, I'm setting my safeties, or the safeties for sale, at 125. And I can set them at 130, I found that out. But the problem I was having was the blowdown seat, the seat pressure. The blowdown ring was a little bit too, uh, it was too big of a diameter. So I had to bring it down closer to the valve, which actually affects the pop-off pressure. So, I made a couple of improvements, and... If those improvements work, that means that every one of those valves I have to throw the blowdown rings away and make a whole bunch of new ones, which is no big deal. Take me a day. So, okay, we'll see you when we get ahead of steam. All right, 
uh, have a little lunch. Nothing but the best, man. Kaiser roll, salami, provolone cheese, little olives in the oil. Can't beat it, man. Nothing like it. Good sandwich. Slice up some salami here. Just using a regular piece of plywood for a Well, when I had the uh, shop over at the other place, it was right off my kitchen at home. And uh, that's when I did a lot of cooking. A lot of people requested that, man, well, do more cooking, but, you well, know, that's kind of a setup, you know? Anyway, yeah, uh, so far, so far, it's interesting to see that the uh, safety valves change position when you move the blowdown ring, the closer you move the blowdown ring, the further away you move it, 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 it makes a difference in the way you, uh, in the way it pops off. So I got to get that right, that right combination, which I'm working on, and um, worked out pretty good so far. Uh, let's see what we have here. Well, right now I'm, at, I'm hovering at 120, so that's that's the nice thing about it that. Um, I could I could kind of regulate that gas so I could just keep it in a nice even temperature where cold you know it's going all over the place, and uh, the gas is it could say the same thing for either propane or oil it, the regulated pressure uh, a little bit different on coal a little bit different. There she goes. Now I turn it on. She pop all beautiful. She pops all beautifully. Open the injector. Now it's really popping off now. I gotta I'm still adjusting it. Now I popped up one point, now it's 80. So that's way off. But we'll get it. Let me tell you, the injector is the way to go. Anybody tell you differently? Forget that that, that hand pump stuff. Looking for air or auxiliary, but you want injectors is the way to go. Obviously, I mean that's what the railroads use. They had uh, speed pump. There she goes. She's getting ready to seat. Getting ready to seat down. Let's see. We're probably uh, down to 60 pounds right now. Well, just sitting here playing around. Not bad. What pressure we got now? Ah, uh, building up on 80. I can make it come up real quick if I want to just by cranking this up. Let's see what happens. I don't know where that's set now. I'm going to have my position sound. A few olives. Olives and olive oil. Stuffed olives. Hmm. Great. You know what? They say things go better with Coke. See what happens. Salud. I got the camera in the van right here. My van's open. Got the camera in there, so if it starts raining, I ain't gonna get wet. New monitor's working out. Problem is, I keep looking at the monitor. See, I'm looking at the monitor right now. But the camera's up there. All good with training.
cool. I said before I was going to build one of these things. Greatest things in seven up, man. I love it. I love it. I do notice a difference now that I put the safety out here on a different pipe. It really makes a difference. It works better. And I tell you what, those safety valves will relieve that pressure. Funny. Coming up on 120. 119. There's 120 now. I think uh, it's going to go way over 120. It's probably going to 130. One thing I wanted to tell you is that I'm going to get a picture of it a little bit later. I made a uh, hydrostatic test pump setup where I have two gauges. I'll explain that in a little when I do it. And I pump it up, I put a little PM research, a little hand pump. And I can pump them up, and I can get them to pop at 120. And that's pretty accurate, because the ones I had over there that I was testing before, they were right on, real close to 120. I can just a little tweak them in a little bit. This one here is all over the map, because I'm fooling with it. But uh, right now, I'm coming up on uh, 136, 138, 140 now. Big, big, big safety valve's going to go off. Now you gotta have this, let me tell you, you gotta shut them off because I was trying it before. And what happened? I blew the wrench so over, I didn't go look for it. That's about 120 right there. Everything's nice and see now they all leak. This one leaks. They all leak a little bit. When they get close to popping, they're just kind of hovering there. And poof! Pop off. Beautiful. I love it. It's starting to rain out here and uh, I got this thing set right at 120, man. Bing! Right. Isn't that beautiful? That's the way it's supposed to go. Now I gotta set the blowdown pressure. And when that happens, it changes that pop off pressure a little bit. So it's starting to rain. Look at this. Uh, anything for the glory of live steam, right? Well, okay. Let's see. Pop off beautiful. Over here, I have a known safety valve. I know this works. I know where I'm at as a gauge to test this. But I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference being on this manifold versus being right on the right on the boiler itself here. That's the way it's supposed to work. Right now, it's dropping down, dropping down. Open the injector and see what happens. All right, uh, been fooling around with it here for a while. I got it pretty good now. This is a 130 valve. I got it set at 130 right now. That's okay. Some people want a 130. This thing is cycling. Now it's going to see 130, about four pound differential, which is perfect. Now this one here is set at 120, so obviously that's going to go off when I open it out. There, she just reseat. Now let's see, let's do it again. Perfect. Got them good now. The improvement I made on the blowdown ring is definitely good. So tomorrow I'm going down to McMaster car, get me a nice piece of three-quarter brass, and make them up again. No big deal. I can still use those other ones if I make the valve a little bit bigger. 5,000 bigger, it'll work. Now, a lot of work, guys. A lot of work it pays off. I'm going to start selling safety valves here. And uh, there she goes. It's going to go boom. I love it. Pop, pop, that pop. I love it. Brings tears to my eyes. Okay. I guess that producer sandwich made the difference. Got a little calmer. Okay. Took my time, got a little frustrated. That's part of it. I love this hobby. I love this size of my life, man. I love it. I love everything about it. I get so passionate about it sometimes some when people are a little bit critical of what I do or my some of my methods, uh, uh, I get a little bit emotional about it. It's my nature. But uh, let's, let's look at that thing going, man. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful?
And that's going to boom, pop again. And believe it or not, you got to lower the blow down wing. You got to keep lowering. And I can, if I tweak that one more notch, it'll probably shut down quicker. But I'm happy with that. You figure when you got a 120 valve, you want it to be five pounds. When you got a 130 pound valve, you want it to be a little more because you want it to relieve more. You want it to be popping, popping, popping. So you want it to relieve the pressure. Beautiful. There she goes. I love it. Pop. Nice. And they, you know, they're all going to leak a little bit. Yeah, you can't stop that. Look, this one's even leaking. Well, that's, that's way lower pressure. When that gets near 120, it starts to, to seep a little bit. I don't even have that one on. So if I turn that on, it's going to pop because that's set at 120. This one's set at 130, and the big valve over there, behind there, it's the kunkel, big huge kunkel, is set up to 150. This is a beautiful, beautiful boiler, boy, I'll tell you. Steve Dispenza, if you're watching this, thank you very much. It's going to good use, my friend. Going to good use. Look at that thing go. Safety valves are coming, guys. They're coming. Coming along. I get the rest of these all made up. I'll be in good shape. It's going to be a while. Another month, probably, by the time I get them all set and everything. That's a 130 valve right there, guys. Now I'll take a little tag, tie it with a string and mark it. There she is. Beautiful. Well, okay. I've been running now for a few minutes. It started to break in. Now, in the beginning, it was a little bit like um, leaking a little bit. You know, as it starts to seep, starts to break in, spring's starting to get this cool, everything. I love it. That's going to drop down now. Yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, taking your time and thinking and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's going to seat right there. I'm going to try another one while I got the thing under pressure. I'm going to put a little tag on this one now. This one's done. Number one valve. Number one of the... Boom. I love it. Okay. Well, it's what? Going on 10 minutes and 6. Okay, I got one. Now I had the one 130. Now I got this one set at 1. Well, let's see. It's slowing down at 119, I think. Right there, 119. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, got my Seattle Seahawks jacket. You like that? It's a, give, it's a freebie. Okay, it's going to pop off at uh, 121, so you got like two pound differential. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Uh, nighttime, I'm Trenton. Okay, guys, that's it. See you again on the next video, and thanks for watching.